How's Halo MCC doing in 2023? It's doing pretty good. So Halo MCC reached its final form right before the launch of Halo Infinite, which is, believe it or not, like a year and a half ago at this point. Since then, they've added a few small quality of life features that has made the experience really fun. Steam Workshop support is there. They didn't move forward with microtransactions. They've added some cool post-game poses and quite a few other things. The population on Steam hovers right now at about the 4,000 mark, but the game also has crossplay, so you can factor that in. It's doable, it's playable. Obviously, the main playlists are gonna be your bread and butter, the popular modes, all the stuff that's kinda out there takes a little bit longer. In terms of the matchmaking, like I said, if you search for anything outside of the dorm, you're gonna have some longer wait times. So Halo 3, it is still the most popular game in the collection, just judging by the average wait times. It's also my favorite game in the collection. If you want the more chill experience, BTB Halo 3 is where it is at. The Halo 3 44 experience is fun, but honestly, what I found, it's been really sweaty the last six months, depending on your skill reading, of course. I'm matching like exclusively like blue badge players, people with like four times the amount of games that I have. Now, if you didn't know Halo MCC, it does have a progression system with some badges. It's fairly gratifying, and it's also worth mentioning that the XP gains are massive right now, just for running matches compared to what they used to be. You'll be accumulating unlock points out the wazoo, so just play this game. There's also a really solid weekly challenge system for both PvP and PvE. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's also gratifying, something I hope Infinite takes into <laughs> you know, consideration when they're building things out. So you have some great firefight experiences as well. The campaigns are a real joy. Overall, MCC, it's still rocking in 2023. It's worth your time. On the mouse and keyboard front, here's my thoughts. I grew up playing Halo on controller, started way back in CE. A few years ago, I switched full time to mouse and keyboard for Halo. Halo 3 and Halo 4 are the easiest mouse games in the collection, Halo 4 by far. CE can be decent as well on mouse. Halo 2 Anniversary is also doable on mouse. It's basically a reskin version of Halo 4. Now Reach and Halo 2 Classic are tricky on mouse, and I still think there are some bugs present with them. I flip-flop on this pretty often. I miss the controller. I miss how easy landing shot strings are with it, but I also don't want to swap back to the pad just for MCC. Everything else I play is on mouse and keyboard. So overall, depending on the games that you play and the frequency, that can help you know inform your decision. You have some really good mod support happening right now in the shape of the Steam Workshop. It's way easy to play campaign mods, cool multiplayer mods. If you're looking for some of those great mods, watch the playlist linked at the end of this video. I've showcased a few of my favorites there. This is a big one for MCC. You don't have to go to Nexus Mods. You don't really have to download any exterior things unless there's like certain audio packs that you want. You literally go to the workshop within Steam, you follow the content you want, and then you launch the game without the anti-cheat. It's never been simpler and easier for these great mods to get in there. And oh my gosh, there's a ton to sink your teeth into. Plus, if you're bored there, the game has custom browser support for all of the games within the Master Chief Collection. So there's parkour maps, weird role-playing maps, racing, usually like a big team snipers, FFA, and a whole lot more. So all in all, the game is not nearly as popular as it was leading up to Infinite. I feel like there was a momentum and a hype as we were pushing into Season 8 for MCC that had this game just rolling day after day. Overall, it's the like best PC Halo experience out there right now. Infinite is still lacking in quite a few areas that MCC outclasses it in. Stability, netcode, support, the performance, all of that MCC has got on lock. I will say if you run this game solo, it can feel like an uphill battle in 4v4s. Maybe it's just like my skill rating or whatever, but in like Halo 3, I'll be top fragging, fighting my life off while the other team is just crushing us. Lose three or four games, the matchmaker throws you a bone, gives you what is clearly not that tight of a match, but hey, you really can't do much about it at this point. I'm just happy to still be playing some Halo after all these years in a package that feels pretty complete at this point. It took a long time to get here, but now that we're here, why miss out on enjoying it? So if you've got friends, if you've got the opportunity to play this with a group of people, it is a way more fun experience. Biggest issue I think MCC is gonna face moving forward, it's just gonna probably get a little bit smaller as time goes on, smaller and smaller. Thank goodness crossplay is there, but there's likely never gonna be a big new injection of players back into the MCC. And if you are a fan of these older games, I'm telling you, enjoy it right now. I don't know where we're gonna be in three years or whatever. Hopefully we've got a super sick Unreal Engine Halo or Tatanka or whatever it's gonna be. And so we won't be always having to go back 
to the classic titles. But I will say appreciate this now while you can. It's in great shape. If you're itching for a Halo experience on PC, this is the one to play until Infinite gets some massive steps forward. That's just my take. Let me know what you think. Are you playing some MCC or do you have some interest after watching this video? Shout out in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon.